Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sagar Mishra, and my student ID is one nine double zero eight nine five. Uh, we are came here to discuss about the cyber strategy and hurdles which everyone has to overcome for smooth operation and development for its assurance. So let us discuss first uh, how the real assurance have been started. We deeply enjoy the incident happening across the UK uh, uh, for their uh, for, for their work purpose. Sent down to other countries, stopping at the service station and eating unwanted fast foods. They ended up going to sleep uh, because it made them tired, and when they wake up, they were feeling fat. They were not getting the opportunity in the fast phase that to be able to live well and eat well. They were not aware that food has carbon density and healthy. That was good fuel for food in their bodies. So in turn four, they decided to start learn along with the uh, chef, Mr. Allergy McCurdy. The company opened its first restaurant in Canterbury Street, London, one four, with second restaurant opening in the year later in Ludagates. Fast forward to the year fourteen, the chain now had twenty restaurants and an impressive uh, menu of uh, fusion and extensive way of uh, locally stored vegan and vegetarian foods. The company also has a range of a uh, hundred vegan cookbook inspired by its own founders. Previously, we have analyzed the internal and external. Environment of the real of the real restaurant using several tools such as pastoral analysis and photo five post analysis. We have also identified the resources in capability of real restaurant. Real restaurant and analyze which resources or capability gives its substantially competitive advantage. Today we will carry forward the vitality of real restaurants and which we had identified earlier, and we will propose a strategy to turn those vitalities into strength. This report will use the funnel approach. As it will start by highlighting all the issues you will be facing, and the most important issue will be selected to be discussed uh, further. Several strategy have to be updated for further smooth future, smooth operation and development of the real restaurant. I like to uh, raise some of the issues. First issue is going global. As we know that real restaurant are easily employed is one thousand one thousand employed, and its opening is sixty fifth restaurant. In the uh, due to which it has been a recognized name in UK as well as London uh, as a, in the food chain. In the food chain now it's looking to operate in the international level. That is USA. As per 2017 international report, Vivian currently operates around 58.4 million uh, uh, pounds and is set to for huge growth in 2019. For its uh, probably they have could operate easily in USA. But some uh, strategy hurdles has to be. Uh, we run to through, run smoothly. The second issue is a food versus, and food versus is a major issue in the sense of food industries. A total of three million four hundred fifteen thousand tons of waste is being disposed in the food industries sector every year in the UK, in which 40, 41 percent, that is six hundred thousand tons of waste, is from pubs, restaurants, and cafe uh, services. To overcome this hurdle, what big strategy could be applied by the Leo Nation for smooth operation development will be discussed with my team members. As my team member Saga described the issues, I want to continue on the issues. The issues which the Leon's restaurant is facing. The first one can be taken as the US market. Capturing a global market is the biggest challenge for any industry. Even it's food or any other industry. The new market wants different strategies, obviously. The another issue we can take Brexit. The even when Brexit happened, the new rules and new setup must be applied by the Leon restaurant. Then high risk of government policies will be applied. The next issue I want to come forward. Is high prices like uh, in market there are many competitors with same variety same menu uh, fast food as Leon's so for the competition competitors Leon have to uh, make some strategies to go through it the another uh, issue in the in the head of high market high prices Customer wish to spend, like uh, every customers are willing to spend as per their, uh, their, for their earnings. The next issue, limited menu 
for the vegan customer. Taste and choices are very limited for them. And the resources of Lyons, they are also very limited because they just believe in locally uh, available ingredients. So they use as a substitute which provides locally. The next issue uh, which can be taken, food wastage. Uh, in process of manufacturing uh, product, from the process uh, level to the hand of customers, there will be many uh, wastage, food wastage uh, will have um, will have in some uh, manufacturing process uh, some non recyclable cutlery which use which we, which is used by restaurants this is also a problem from all that issues we have focused on top three issues from which one is the capturing us market that how to manage business globally Another issue we have focused on is food waste management. Uh, what to do for reduction of food wastage. And the third option we have taken, pricing and menu changes. We have focused on people's taste and the price control by them. The goal of our uh, report is to convert vulnerabilities into strength after doing all strategic analysis. And the other goal is propose strategies for the top three issues to achieve excellent business performance and growth of the business. Further, my team members will describe the issues in more detail. Uh, so as Shanaz has mentioned, we will be focusing on the three issues which we have prioritized and we feel are the most important. And uh, these are the issues which make Lyon's restaurant the most vulnerable. And I will be talking about uh, capturing the US market. So when a brand decides to glo go global or when it decides to expand to another country, there are certain problems, underlying problems which need to be addressed. For example, there are economic differences, factors such as uh, the inflation rate, the interest rate and uh, coupled with the exchange rate fluctuations can make it very difficult to conduct operations for a business. And uh, it is particularly very difficult to plan and forecast in certain in these environments. And secondly, there are cultural differences and language barriers because what works in one country might not work in another. So Lyons needs to keep all these issues in mind and it needs to act accordingly. This is why we have come up, uh, we thought of uh, three different strategies which we would like to propose to Lyons and we feel will help them in capturing the USA market. So let's move to the first option. The first option which we would like to propose to Lyons is that it can plan an acquisition with an already existing restaurant in the US. This will give Lyons uh, certain benefits. First of all, it will uh, give uh, Lyons access to a certain knowledge and uh, uh, it will give them knowledge about how things are done in the USA and what is successful in the USA. Because uh, when the acquisition happens, Lyons can choose to retain certain aspects of the acquired restaurant. For example, the human capital. It can choose to retain the employees, the managers, the chefs. So those people, the managers and the chefs, they will have knowledge about what works in the restaurant industry in the US and how it works. So Lyons will get access to this particular knowledge which will be of great value. Secondly, Lyons will also get uh, access to a greater number of customers because the uh, restaurant which will be acquired will already have a certain customer base established. And those customers will be willing to give Lyons a try in hope that it will be just as good as the acquired restaurant or it might be even better. And, uh, but if you look at it from the racist framework, the first aspect, resource, resources. Does Lyons have the resources to go for an acquisition? I think this is where this option fails because going for an acquisition will place a lot of burden on the financial resources of Lyons and uh, this is why the stakeholders will probably not be willing to accept this proposal and so it fails on the racist framework. And even as Bauer said, uh, mergers and acquisitions, they make the most sense when done in a mature industry because the purpose of a merger and acquisition is to reduce competition. But uh, if we look at it, the healthy fast food industry is not yet at its mature stage. 
It's still in the growing phase, and uh, especially when we talk about Lyon's entry in the US market, its goal is not to beat competition. Its goal is to enter the market and capture it in any way possible. So the second option that we have is, the second option is that uh, Lyon's can simply continue doing its operations the same way it does in the UK and not make any changes at all. Now this option is the easiest one because obviously it would not require any additional resources or any additional working, but it is the one with the greatest risk. Because as I mentioned before, what works in one country might not necessarily work in another. Uh, for example, uh, a marketing campaign which is very successful in the UK might not work in the US or it might even backfire and offend the people over there because of the cultural and lifestyle differences. So Lyons needs to think accordingly and uh, if, even if you look at this option from the racist framework, yes, of course, Lyons has the resources for it. It does not require much resources. It might also be accepted by the stakeholders if Lyons manages to justify it, but it will certainly not be effective, and this is where it fails on this framework. And that is why we believe that Lyons should not go with this option, and it should look for another option, and it should adapt uh, with the US environment. This brings us to the third option. The third option, uh, the option which we think is the best one for Lyons, is that it should partner with the supplier in the USA. Because uh, doing so will bring uh, Lyons a couple of benefits. Number one, it will give uh, Lyons uh, an opportunity to locally source food. And since this has been a uh, part of the vision of Lyons, it will be of great value to Lyons that it will be able to locally source food. Second, Lyons will be able to comply with the health and hygiene and safety standards of the US, which is a very crucial success factor when it comes to the restaurant industry. Because uh, the supplier which it partners with will obviously be already complying with the health, hygiene and safety standards. And by partnering with that supplier, Lyons will also do so. So this is a great benefit which Lyons will get. And apart from this, Lyons will also get uh, greater access uh, to a great power, uh, an increasing number of customers because uh, the supplier must have an already established a positive reputation. So when Lyon's markets itself saying that it has partnered with that particular supplier which customers really value, they will trust Lyon's more and they will be willing to give it a try. So these are the benefits which uh, a partnership will have for Lyon's restaurants. And uh, finally, if you look at it from the racist framework, does Lyons have the resources for this option to partner with the supplier? Yes. Will it be accepted by the stakeholders? Yes, because it makes a lot of sense. Will it be consistent? Yes, it will be consistent with their vision of locally sourcing food, of uh, complying with all the safety and health standards, and uh, it will be effective certainly, and it can definitely be made sustainable if done in a proper manner. Now, I would like to call Rudy to talk about food wastage. Member already explained about the US markets. Now I'll be explaining about food wastage. As we can see, Leon restaurant has an issue of food wastage as well as the use using of depleting resources. Food waste can be defined as as which the uh, which food is not consumed by humans at any level of manufacturing or food. Food wastage is not only an environmental problem but it is also an economical problem. Consumers order a lot of food which is then get, which gets wasted. They do not know how much to order and they cannot measure the appetite of the food and those are not consumed directly. High income countries where extra cooked food does not get consumed are thrown away. They produce too much, they consume too much which is an effective which is an effective economically. This does not only affect directly, but it also affects indirectly. As we the management can uh, see all the production figures of all the last years, and they can see how the production figures are affecting the waste. They can then produce the way, they, they can then have the production in that way, and as which they can reduce the production and even reduce the waste, and which will be helpful for the environment. Restaurants need to recycle their products. 
they can use the substitute products like paper straws, glasses, glasses, ceramic plates, as well as recyclable products. They can also consider recyclable recyclable packaging as it will help the environment. They should uh, design the packaging in such a way that the material that the percentage of materials used are recyclable. It needs secondary recyclable, which is very expensive. And due to this expense, Leon's restaurant cannot cannot accept the proposal as it will increase the prices and also increase the revenue which will not be acceptable for the Leon's restaurant to have a further good sales revenue. If we look at the racist framework, option 1 about quantity management, it cannot be consistent and effective as all the customers do not have the same kind of appetite. It may vary according to the customers. They cannot, uh, as we all know, the restaurant cannot reduce the size of the quantity of the food as all, uh, all have a different kind of appetite. Uh, this framework will not be acceptable as it will reduce the sales revenue of the uh, restaurant. Looking at the option to recycling and substituting plastics, it, it fits all the criteria as except for the sustainability. It, uh, if we keep this uh, proposal in front of the stakeholders, it will be acceptable as it will improve the brand image of the restaurant. But as we see, recycling plastics cause a lot of high, in, uh, high expenses and re, uh, Leon's restaurants do not have that much of income to recycle plastics. Even though Leon's restaurant has has the uh, resources of recycling and substituting the products, uh, recycling plastic costs a lot of a uh, you know, lot of expense, which increases the prices of the Leon's uh, Leon's restaurant, and this will be vulnerable to its competitors. Now my team member will explain how the pricing and the menu affects the Leon's restaurant. About the Leon restaurant's issues of pricing and menu. First issue is higher pricing. It's an issue when it comes to Leon restaurant, as all the other competitors in the market of fast food restaurants are at a way down level when it comes to menu. As if we compare Leon restaurants, the a, a, a simple item like burger costs you around six pounds, which is way beyond the limit of an average customer which it spends. So a suggestion would be Leon de decreases the prices and fits into a normal average person's budget. It needs to it needs to change its strategy as of late the number of vacant customers have increased significantly. So there is a desperate need of change in the menu of the Leon's restaurants to attract the new vacant customers in order to stay in the race of the fast food restaurants. The solution for advancement in menu is creative thinking. When it comes to sales, the pricing has been an issue for the Leon restaurants as the other local fast food competitors are providing almost the same quantity and the taste when it comes in a much cheaper price when it compares to the Leon restaurants prices. Normal person, normal average person would always look for prices first and then the taste and quantity adopt a policy in which they can go for lower prices and lower profits per customer in order to achieve higher number of sales and increased overall profits. Let's move on to the conclusion. As a result of the racist framework, we have concluded our final strategy for success in the US market. As a result, we came up with uh, our two options. The first is to analyze customers. Analyze what type of customers exist in the lo local area to identify local trend. Demographically, we offer to product targeted the largest consumer group by age, gender, and legend. Option is local constant to make your 
uh, business partner because they are familiar with the business model and uh, have a network of uh, lessons to keep business smooth, uh, smoothly. Good uh, use of partnership with them. You can have a good uh, material and a manpower more easier and cheaper. Propose that Leon opts for a combination of two strategies. One, change its pricing and menu according to the U.S. market. Two, partner with the supplier in the U.S. As we mentioned, food wastage is also a complex and uh, cannot be solved by making simple strategy changes. To solve it, it will need to be built constantly over a period. As for the problem of a higher priced menu in the UK, it will be easier to tackle as the industry grows. As more competitors will enter the healthy fast food sector, those who want healthy meal will also increase. Similarly, mega trends such as robotics and AI will also emerge, which might give Leo, great chance to lower price of uh, production in the future. It's very important for Leo to capture the USA market as it is a huge market with uh, a lot of uh, potential. Unpredictable events in the UK, such as Brexit, can be covered by the profit in the US if Leon manages to be uh, successful over there. This is why we think, think it would be the best to focus on the US market at the strategic level. Using the two options we have proposed. Thank you for watching our presentation.